tuning in. Um, this is another physics lesson with Mr. M. Today we are going to continue talking about our unit on circular motion, but we're going to focus ourselves on the two equations that we learned about. The first equation being the equation for centripetal acceleration, and the second equation being that of centripetal force. Okay, And we're going to take a look at um, one complete problem that has both of these um, equations in them. Okay, and so here's our here's our problem here. Okay, we have a 0 0.75 kilogram stone and it's whirled horizontally at the end of a 0 0.5 meter stream at a speed of 4.4 meters per second. And what we want to figure out is what is the tension on the stream as we're doing that. Okay, and as always, it's always good to um, draw a picture of what's going on. Okay, and so here we have a picture of a stone attached to a string. It's traveling in that circular motion. And we know that our string length is 0 0.5 meters. Okay, and as a quick review, here are those two equations that we talked about. Our centripetal acceleration, which is A sub C, and that is equal to the velocity squared over our radius. And then our force equation, once again, looks very similar to Newton's second law. Um, F equals MA, but we have to be using the centripetal acceleration in this equation. Okay, so to get us started off, the first thing that I always like to do with my physics problems is to take a look at what we know and what we don't know um, in terms of our values in the problem. Okay, so we're going to take a look at what we already know from the problem. Okay, so as we read through, here we know that we have a 0 0.75 kilogram stone. Okay, that's going to represent our mass. We also know that we have a 0 0.5 meter string. That's going to be the distance of our radius. And then we also know that we are at a speed of 4.4 meters per second. And so that's going to be our velocity. Okay, so let's kind of let's kind of get these in. So we know what our mass is. That's going to be our 0 0.75 kilograms. We said we know what our radius is going to be. That's going to be our 0 0.5 meters. And we also know our velocity, which is going to be our 4.4 meters per second. Okay. So let's scoot that over here. We're going to come back to these. What I also like to do is figure out our unknown, okay, or what we need to solve for. So we're going to put these over here. And what we don't know is, well, we don't know our acceleration. And we also don't know our force. So those are the two things that we need to solve for in these problems. And in setting up this particular problem, for us to be able to find the tension, in other words, the force on that string, we're going to need to solve for the centripetal acceleration first. So the first equation that we're going to be working on is this equation up here. Okay, And the nice thing is, if we look at our known values, we know what our velocity is and we know what our radius is. Okay, So let's go ahead and start plugging those things in. So our acceleration equation is going to be our velocity squared. And we know that our velocity here is 4.4 meters per second. And that value is going to be squared. And we're going to divide that by our radius, which is our 0 0.5 meters. So we're going to plug that in at the bottom of our equation here. And when we go ahead and solve for this, 4.4 squared divided by 0 0.58 gives us an answer of 38.72. And that's going to be, because it's acceleration, that's going to be meters per second squared. All right. So now that we know our acceleration, we're going to plug this value into this part of our equation right up here. Okay. And we can do that because we know what the mass is based on our problem, our known values here. All right. And so a quick and easy little equation here, F equals MA. 
So that's going to be our mass, which is 0 0.75. and our acceleration that we just solved for, our 38.72. And when we multiply these together, um, we're gonna end up with an answer of 29 newtons, because newtons is the unit that we use for force. Okay. So very nice and easy, there's our final answer. Um, nice and easy equations, very straightforward. Um, once again, as long as we know the velocity and the radius, we can solve for our centripetal acceleration. And as long as we know the centripetal acceleration and the mass, we can solve for our force. Okay. All right, so hopefully this helpful was video, uh, this video was helpful for you in figuring out how to use our two centripetal equations. Thanks for watching.